If you ever notice a bit of a lull on the channel as far as video content is concerned, that is the reason why. Yep, sorry guys, totally addicted to Battlefield 5. Oh my god, that is such a cool game. So cool. Just can't get off it, but I need to. I've got reviews to do. I've got a backlog of guns coming, so. But, like I said, not my fault. It's their fault. Dice's fault. Anyway, hi guys, this is Rack and Load. This is the SIG. M17 CO2 pistol full blowback and I like it I really do like it now I know CO2s are you know the low powered the back garden plinkers at the end of the day so you know don't expect massive power or anything um, but as far as tin can bashing is concerned and that's pretty much what these things are for this thing is really, really cool, really cool. And it's got the proper authentic feel, weight um, of the real thing, you know, the, the six hour. So, but let's uh, just sort of throw out some specs. Well, actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sort of do it a bit backwards. I'm gonna show you the box first because all the specs are on the back. Now, this pistol comes in uh, a real good box, actually. Quite impressed with it. Authentic weight, balance and handling. A replica of US Army's M17 pistol, 20 round magazine. It's got it's got RPM magazine. Is that a typo? Oh no, 20 round RPM. Don't know what that stands for. Um, full blowback, metal slide, semi-auto. Shoots like a Sig because it is one, and it is. It's fully licensed by Sig, so that's cool. Nice sort of detailing on, on the back, sort of telling you all the good bits about it. Um, like I said, uh, specs wise, um, polymer frame um, and metal slide up to 430 feet per second, depending on what, you know, the temperature's like, what pellets you're using. Uh, got Picatinny rail sort of underneath, I'll show you that in more detail, weighing in at 2.3. 21 pounds or 2.21 pounds barrel length is 4.6 inches 20 round mag but like i said 177 that is pretty much it but nice box i usually do the boxes last but that's a nice box pretty cool so the six hour m17 really really cool Kindly on loan from uh, Highland Outdoors, I think this has come from. Um, really cool. Really, really good fun. Now, what I'll do is I'll show you the magazine first. Now, it does release a little bit of gas when you take the magazine out because this is quite an unusual magazine. <laughs> quite funny, actually, when I first loaded this thing in. Well, first loaded the first co2 uh, cartridge in 12 gram co2 cartridges by the way you see you've got like this lever here now basically what you do this is in the open position this is gassed up by the way so i'm not going to do it but it, basically you open that so it's in sort of that position put your co2 bulb in and then close it short and it pushes the the co2 bulb up and pierces it now i sort of done it half-heartedly <laughs> rather than like snapping it short and making sure it was sort of there. I sort of just went, you know, la di da sort of pressing it and it pierced the, pierced the uh, cartridge and the cartridge shot out and flew off like a torpedo. <laughs> it was quite funny. It made me jump, but it was quite funny. Um, so yeah, when you, when you put the uh, CO2 cartridges in and you've got this open, hold it in and push that thing right to don't sort of mess about when you do it just close it straight to pretty fast because that's how it pierces it so but yeah this is your mag it's basically that's your housing for your um co2 ball like i said this little button here you press that and the actual magazine itself shoots out like so it's not supposed to do that but hold, hold on to it and it'll pull out like that and now this is where you basically load up your pellets okay so what you do is you open 
so that you open this bit here and it's basically like a chain okay so you just load up all your pallets so it just keeps off spinning it round like so get all 20 rounds in I believe it is yeah 20 rounds close it up and then just push it into that bit there in the mag or in the magazine housing till it clicks and then push it into the handle of the, uh, the M17 that's it job done oh, you don't have to like pull the slide back but obviously it is cool to pull the slide back you know good training I guess but that's it this is gassed up I fire a couple of shots look One more. And that's pretty much, obviously the magazine was empty. Um, and that's pretty much how it works. Um, every time you pull in the trigger, it's rotating that chain magazine, you know. So 20, sh 20 shots is pretty much as fast as you can pull the trigger. Really, really cool, really cool. Now, let's sort of take a closer, closer look at the actual pistol then. So I've just shown you in the magazine, the, the bottom of it has got SIG's logo on there. And looking at the handle, you've got, it. it is like all polymer. Uh, you've got like a, kind of like a stippling, almost like a sandpaper effect on the grip there. Really quite nice. Feels good in the hand, you know. Feels a weighty, weighty bit of kit. You know, like I said, someone's going to pipe up in the comments. I know they are. Oh, you should try the real thing. Yeah, yeah. Tried the real thing. You know, this is a back garden blinker. It's a CO2 air pistol. You know, there's always someone that jumps in the comments, you know, comparing something to the real deal. But you can compare this to the real deal because it does feel the business. It really does. But anyway, I digress. So um, you've kind of got like a bit of a, what do you call that bit of a beaver tail there is that what you call it really sort of nice comfortable i've got sort of average size hands i find it really comfortable um moving on to like the uh trigger guard or it's all polymer as is all the frame as i mentioned glock style almost isn't it and then um bit of rail here bit of picatinny rail so you can sort of throw on a light or a laser you know that'd be that'd be pretty cool. Um, there are a couple of um, levers on here that uh, don't sort of do anything. Um, pretty much, there isn't really. Um, oh, well, there is a safety. It's like an amb ambidextrous. Um, does that work? Yeah, it is like an ambidextrous safety there on the slide. So that's quite quite nice. Um, apart from that, control-wise, you've got the magazine release, which is there. Non-ambidextrous, it's just on the one side. So that sort of comes out quite well, especially when there's a little bit of gas in it. It almost sort of blows it. I don't know whether that uses much gas as you, <laughs> as you do that. Shots-wise, um, I've had... How many max? I'm just trying to think. I probably got a good sort of, I don't know, four magazines out of this. So sort of 80 shots before it really sort of st sort of dropped off. I'd probably say sort of between three and four magazines each holding 20. So between sort of 60 and 80 shots um, per uh, 12 gram CO2 ball, which ain't bad, you know, which ain't bad. But yeah, moving along to the actual slide itself. The slide is all metal. You've got like these grip serrations here at the front here. Six logo, which is nice. And the 7.7 cal 4.5 millimeter. And then you've got all that rig licensing rig rigmarole there and safety stuff. Um, and then looking at the sights, sights aren't bad actually, aren't bad. Like white dots on the 
trying to get it in the light guys I don't know if you can really see it oh you can there white dots on the rear and a white dot on the front um, not really adjustable um, you probably can looking at that it looks like a bit of a dovetail um, front sight I don't know if you can actually adjust it I mean accuracy wise I was shooting tin cans at sort of like 15 20 yards you know it's not a paper puncher is it really CO2 guns aren't really majorly accurate you know um, it's just more for the sheer fun of these things more than accuracy looking at the muzzle and not that you should look at the muzzle but looking at the muzzle there it is um, really cool just a, a well built so sort of really, really nice it, chunky pistol you know um, I'm liking it the trigger itself uh, that is metal um, yeah it's definitely metal just just had to double check there um, so that feels you know really sort of nice no sort of grip on it or anything it's just pretty plain you can't sort of fire this thing in single action it is sort of double action because technically it's not a semi-auto um, I believe it has got a rifle barrel which is always nice um, double check that actually that's something I really needed to yeah rifle barrel Just so I was just looking down it to see if you could sort of see down the barrel so yeah rifle steel barrel there which will enhance accuracy somewhat now while I've got the magazine out this is a cool cool feature of this pistol you can actually field strip it okay so basically you sort of roll the uh, this takedown um, lever sort of back push it up and the slide will he says come off like that so I'll show you the guts so there's the slide there like I said all metal giving it the wedding ring test and then you've got the guts here so now this is quite handy um, as far as field strip goes because uh, I found in my testing uh, I had to do that a couple of times because this thing jammed up now the reason it jammed up was because a pellet uh, let's just drop the actual magazine out a pellet in the actual sort of chamber that's what you call it must have sort of gone forward and stopped this chain from sort of spinning you know spinning round so it got sort of the, the pellet it was sort of half out don't know how it just must have must have fell out I think some, I think a pellet has just fell out of this then something's just fell out <laughs> um, yeah so uh, a pellet must have sort of just gone focus camera focus uh, a pellet must have just sort of fell forward and obviously stopped the the chain from sort of spinning each you know each shot or after each shot as you so, sort of cycle the trigger so I was like oh okay I actually got it on camera so I was pulling the trigger and nothing was happening um, and then I thought okay what to do then well you take the magazine out well the magazine wouldn't come out because that pellet was half in and out of the barrel like half it out of the magazine and half into the barrel or chamber or whatever um, and I could not get the magazine out so the only way I well this was a slightly I didn't actually have to field strip it for this particular jam uh, what I had to do was get a, a cleaning rod 177 size cleaning rod just stick it down the muzzle um, and just knock that pellet back in uh, to the magazine and then I withdrew the, the actual magazine itself made sure it was all clear and then you know tried it again and that was all right I don't know why it did that it must have just been I was using a variety of pellets it must have just been I don't know the certain pellet I was using while I sort of mentioned pellets I was pretty much just using a selection of everything I find with co2 guns that uh, flathead pellets work the best they seem to you know 
they seem to just fit in the magazines better he says after, after i've just explained that jam up um but yeah if you have any other issues um sort of um uh, you know as far as this gun sort of if it jams up or anything you can field strip it so that is uh, a real sort of nice added feature and I'll give you a closer look at the the guts there yeah it's not bad you know it's not bad it kind of looks a little bit sort of airsofty the internals but you know at the end of the day you're not going to get sort of um forged aluminium are you on a co2 gun so you know someone will pipe up oh it's pot metal you know it is what it is it's not it's not a firearm it's a back garden plinker so you know but yeah um putting it back together pretty easy he says you know as i fail on camera like i always do when it comes to um field stripping pretty much put put the slide on like that push it back drop it down push that lever he says oh, it's not happening is it there we go push that lever like that and there you go slides back on but with the there's no sort of slide hold open or anything but if you hold it open there you can sort of see the uh the actual barrel there and the the bit that squirts the juice out to fire that pellet on its way and there's the magwell i'll show you and the magwell as well there's the actual there uh, bit where the gas goes co2 goes from uh, that part of the the magazine you get the idea guys you get the idea so yeah really really fun nice colored as well back garden plinker can killer that's what it is and it just feels really really good in the hand oh yes it does it's got some nice felt recoil i'd probably compare it to almost like 2-2 rimfire you know um tested a lot of uh 2-2 rimfire pistols or long barrel pistols here in the uk and um, that is probably yeah it's not far off the uh the sort of feel of of one of those so yeah really cool right looking at the manual which ain't bad either nice color picture on the front your usual sort of safety precautions and stuff it tells you how to sort of load up the co2 um tells you all your controls here you go look there's the co2 the way you have to sort of fold that lever up yeah don't don't do it half-hearted like i did and then how to sort of load up the magazine field stripping removing jammed ammo really really cool that's pretty much as far as your uh as far as your manual goes, is there an exploded diagram? No, no, it just goes on to different language. But yeah, not a bad little manual. But yeah, overall though, really, really nice. Good, uh, fun back garden plinker. Good blowback CO2 pistol. You know, if you if you like your SIGs, I mean, there's loads to choose from now, aren't there? As far as CO2s are, are concerned, you can pretty much get everything. Um, as far as real steel ones concerned, every model is pretty much available in CO2. But ah, oh, the blowbacks are just so much more fun than the non-blowbacks. You just get a nice bit of feel of them. But anyway, guys, that is it. That is your rack and load review of the Sig Sauer M17 CO2 4.5 millimeter or 177 blowback pistol. It is really, really cool fun. Really cool fun. But anyway, that is it. Thanks for watching. That's Rack and Load. See ya.